Well, we've got another nice day on tap across Sioux land. Now, things have been pretty quiet, though. We do know that. Here's a graphic about the days since the last severe storm warning across the United States. Now, Sioux Falls is our National Weather Service office, and it's been 142 days since our last severe thunderstorm warning. So, obviously, it's been pretty quiet. You know, this is at the start of month of March. We start to see a couple warnings, you know, throughout the month or so. But if you look towards the south, only about two days since their last warning, things are starting to heat up down there. Here's a look outside at your North Fork Cam, and things are pretty quiet and calm across the area. Not too bad, but you will need your jacket as you head out the door. Sioux City, pretty quiet as well. Temperatures are in their 20s. We're at about 26 right now. You'll need that jacket, but you will be able to ditch it later on this afternoon. And winds are calm. They were pretty gusty at about 30 miles per hour yesterday. We likely won't see that today. Currently, we are in the upper 20s to low to mid 30s across the board 36 degrees in Storm Lake and 28 degrees in Denison things are actually pretty quiet across the entirety of the United States there's just so a couple showers and thunderstorms in the southeast but other than that it's even difficult to find some cloud cover across the entire country well this morning we could see a little bit of fog building into our eastern counties this won't be a widespread event so most of you will not have to worry about this throughout your morning commute we'll see that dissipate we'll have sunshine on tap throughout the day today later on this evening though especially in our eastern counties once again we'll be able to see a little bit more fog move in could be locally dense at times and that fog will last throughout your overnight hours Wednesday into Thursday and you might have that fog still lingering for your morning commute in the eastern counties. Today's high temperatures again another nice day ahead for us. We'll be in the upper 50s to low to mid 60s uh, that sunshine, mild temperatures, and we'll have a southeast wind only at 5 to 10 miles per hour. It won't be gusty like what we saw yesterday. Overnight tonight, you might need the jacket once again, as we'll be in the upper 20s to low 30s. It's going to be chilly out there with a the clear sky, and that fog will be possible in our eastern counties as well. Tomorrow, temperatures will be just a couple of degrees cooler. Most of us will be in the 50s. Could see a couple low 60s further south. Mostly sunny skies, so a couple clouds moving through, but that won't obstruct that sun. Sunshine. Heading towards about mid to late week, temperatures do remain in the 50s. We'll be in the 20s overnight. We keep that sunshine as we head towards the weekend. Then that cloud cover starts to build. Same with those winds. We'll see gusty winds moving in once again on Sunday. Now looking at your 10-day forecast, we start the work week out cloudy. And then by Tuesday, we bring in a couple chances of rain that will last through Wednesday and cooler temperatures at the end of the forecast. All right, that's uh, Joy Bettenhausen, our meteorologist from our sister state in Waterloo. Thanks, Joy.